Hey guys, it's Mike and Maddie, and this is the first video of our RemNote tutorial series. The best place to start would be to explain how RemNote is organized. The two most important terms you'll need to understand are parents and children. So let's say that you're learning about human anatomy in class. So the parent term we'll use will be the human body. So human body, okay. And the children would all be components of the human body. So organs like heart, uh, stomach, and bones, for example. So parents can have many children, but the children can also be parents. You can break down the idea of heart even further. So children of the heart, for example, would be right ventricle, um, atria, what else? Aorta? Oh, aorta, that's a good one, aorta. And then you can break down those even further. Like right ventricle could be broken down to the papillary muscles, the tricuspid valve. You get the idea. You can keep breaking down these ideas into their individual components until they're at their most basic parts. A child of the parent, as we saw earlier, would be bones. But there are many different types of bones, like skull, humerus, and femur, just to name a few. So together, these two relationships help organize the full picture of your studies. And we've just given you two examples of how we've been using RemNote to study medicine and the human body. But of course, as you familiarize yourself with RemNote, you'll decide for yourself how you want to use these tools to best fit your learning style. All right, so that was the parent-child system in a nutshell. Now let's see how we can actually apply all of that in RemNote. So to access RemNote, head to your browser and type in remnote.com and you'll be brought to this landing page for RemNote. If you have an account, go ahead and log in. If you don't, go ahead and sign up. I'm going to log into my own account here. So once you log into RemNote, you're going to be brought to this home screen here that shows all of your notes organized by all notes, documents, folders, top level rem, etc. But if it's your first time here, welcome, you're probably not going to have any notes here. So let's change that. To add a new document or folder to your knowledge base, go to the toolbar at the bottom and press this new document button. Uh, I'm just going to enter in a blank document here. Now this is the RemNote editor and always give your documents or folders a title because it'll be easier to find them when you go back to the all notes tab on the toolbar here. So I'm just going to call this getting started with RemNote. In RemNote, everything is a rem. Every document, every folder, every bullet point, everything is a rem. That's probably going to make more sense as you go through these tutorials. Let's just keep going with the same example that we discussed earlier, and I'll type in human body. To add additional rem to your documents, just hit enter, and you'll see it creates a new bullet point, which means it's a new rem. So we had skin, we had bones, uh, stomach. Now in order to make a rem like skin here, a child of a human body, all you're gonna do is hit tab. When you hit tab, you'll see that the rem actually moves underneath the human body, and this faint gray line shows next to it. Anything nested under this gray line means that it's a child of that rem. So skin right now is a child of the human body. I can make bones a child by hitting tab again, and I can make stomach also a child by hitting tab. You can also go backwards in the hierarchy by using shift plus tab. You can collapse all the children underneath the parent by clicking on the arrow symbol next to the parent. This just cleans up your workspace. Any rem that has children will also be grayed out here, just letting you know that there's something underneath that rem. And remember that children can also be parents, so I can keep breaking down these ideas smaller and smaller. So for bones, I can hit enter and tab to make another child, and we'll put femur, humerus, skull. I can collapse all the children of bones because it's a parent and I can collapse all of the children of the human body because it's also apparent. You can also zoom into any rem and clear up your workspace by clicking on the bullet points themselves. So let's zoom into skull by clicking on it. Now whenever you zoom into a rem, a breadcrumb trail will be shown at the top here, showing that parent-child hierarchy system. And clicking anywhere in the hierarchy is gonna bring you back to that part of the hierarchy. So if I click on bones, it'll go back to bones and all the children of bones will be shown. If I press the human body, 
all of these children will be shown. And if I click on getting started with RemNote, which is the highest parent here, the document, it will show everything under that rem. So clicking on any bullet point zooms into that rem as a document, and it shows a breadcrumb trail of how deep you are in the hierarchy system. So as you keep working in RemNote, making documents and folders, you're going to want to know where those rem actually go. So in the left toolbar, there's an All Notes tab. Go ahead and click on that, and it'll bring you back to that home screen of RemNote. Here you can sort your rem by documents and folders, and everything will be shown by last modified. So the last thing you worked on will be shown at the top. Here's that getting started with RemNote document. Next, let's talk about the differences between folders and documents. So I'm going to make a new folder at the bottom by hitting New Document here and pressing Folder. I'll just call this Folder Example. Folders are documents that contain other documents. Otherwise, they have the exact same function. So in this folder, I can add a new document to this folder. I'll just call this Doc1. I'm going to go back to the folder. I want to add another one, Doc2. The main reason to differentiate a folder from a document is that so you can search for them easier in the All Notes tab. There's a Documents tab and there's a Folders tab. So those are the absolute basics of RemNote. Understanding the hierarchy system, this parent-child system, where you can indent using tab and outdent using shift tab to organize your notes and your thinking. As you get more comfortable with RemNote, your notes are going to get more complex and you can end up with something that looks like my notes. I'll show you an example of my medicine folder. Uh, which I use in medical school. So everything is organized in a parent-child system, medicine being the parent, and all the different topics of medicine being the children. And I continue breaking these ideas down into their more basic parts. For cardiology, we have ECGs, we have the, the cardiac physical exam. And this is just an example of how I've used RemNote to organize all of my notes. As you go through these tutorials, you'll figure out for yourself how you want to organize everything and study the most effective way possible. All right, guys, that was just a brief introduction to RemNote. Hope that gets the ball rolling for everyone. Continue watching these tutorials for more tips and to learn how to use the tool. And I will see you all in the next one.